In today's video, we are going to talk about some interesting facts and myths about the Dragon Lee cat. The Dragon Lee is one of the first Chinese cat breeds and is starting to gain popularity among cat fanciers. Now an internationally recognized official breed, the Dragon Lee is beginning to appear in shows worldwide. Their unique appearance and intelligent personality add to their exotic charm. Among cat breeds, few are as exotic as the Dragon Lee. Unlike many popular cat breeds, the Dragon Lee is a natural breed. This means that it was not created through breeding or mutation, but evolved naturally, in China. The leading theory on the origin of this breed is that it was once a wild cat that self-domesticated, meaning that it naturally adapted to having humans around, coming to depend on them for food and care. The Chinese mountain cat is probably the ancestor of this breed. The Dragon Li goes by many other names, including Li Hua and Li Mao. Here are some of the interesting facts about the Dragon Li cat, which will give you some further insight into its characteristics and temperament. 1. Dragon Li's History This handsome cat breed can be traced as far back as the Xiang Dynasty. The Chinese Li Hua is a very old cat breed and is believed to be one of the earliest of domesticated cat breeds that began in China. The Dragon Li is a purebred and does not result from the breeding of two different cat breeds. This cat breed originates from the Chinese mountain cat. These cats were ratters, and they also were great companions to humans. Dragon Li is a very respected cat breed in China. This cat breed was first showed in Beijing in 2003. By 2010, the Dragon Li was accepted into the Cat Fanciers Association's miscellaneous class. 2. Dragon Li's Appearance The Dragon Li has a unique short coat. The breed has a tabby pattern coat in a medium to dark brown color. Breed standards specify the number of stripes that should typically appear on various parts of the cat. These cats are also recognizable by their large eyes. Their eyes can be green, yellow, or brown, but Dragon Lee aficionados consider green to be the best eye color for this breed. One interesting physical feature is the stocky appearance of the body, reflecting the self-domesticated nature of the cat. They are rectangular and muscular cats, although the females are considerably smaller than the males. These cats usually have distinctively wide paws. 3. Dragon Lee's Personality The Dragon Lee's personality makes sense considering its origins. These cats are loyal, but not particularly affectionate. They are known to be very intelligent, and their natural breed status means that they're very active. They need a lot of space, and therefore is usually not recommended for people who live in small apartments. These cats are particularly good at retrieving things, and may be able to learn to bring in newspapers or fetch small objects. 4. Dragon Lee's Temperament the Dragon Lee cat breed has above intelligence, and is very loyal to family. The Dragon Lee gets claustrophobic in small spaces, and needs to have large spaces to run in, preferably outdoors. Safe outdoor environments need to be created for this magnificent cat breed that enjoys hanging out and playing with family members. They are easy to house train, and enjoy lots of mental stimulation through interactive cat toys. This cat breed is independent, yet needs family and other cats. This is not a lap cat. The Dragon Lee gets along with dogs, other cats, and most domesticated animals. They enjoy playing feather chase with children that are quiet. Males are quirkier, with females being more dignified, and perhaps needing more alone time. This breed is very active and needs plenty of feline sporting activities to keep busy. 5. Dragon Lee is a rare breed. This breed is very difficult to find outside of China. Because the breed is so newly recognized, it has not yet been extensively promoted, and is still considered by cat fanciers to be fairly experimental. As a result, there are few, if any, breeders in the United States and other Western countries. For those interested in Chinese breeds, there is also the Chinese white, although this breed has not yet had widespread official recognition. Cat fancy is becoming more and more popular in China, so more Chinese breeds are likely to appear and gain recognition in the next few years. Unfortunately, Westerners who want to become Dragon Lee owners before then, may have no choice but to take a vacation to their country of origin. Hello! This video is sponsored by BMix Pets. Are you looking for high-quality cat collars at an affordable cost? Check out bmixpets.com. Use coupon code KITTENLIFE to get 20% off. 6. Dragon Li's Hunting Abilities Known for their hunting abilities, the Chinese Li Hua makes a great vermin catcher. With amazingly quick reflexes and retrieval skills, this breed's ability to hunt is worth noting. There is even a story of how one Chinese Li Hua cat learned how to fetch the morning newspaper. 7. Dragon Li's Possible Health Concerns The Dragon Li is a healthy and moderately active cat breed that may be susceptible to the following health conditions. Gingivitis 
Regular dental care will reduce plaque development in your cat, which can lead to gingivitis and gum disease. With gingivitis, the gums will become inflamed because of plaque. Ligaments and bone are not yet affected. By including daily tooth brushing, dietary changes, using a plaque prevention gel, and oral rinses, you'll be helping your cat. Consulting with your veterinarian for preventative cleanings every three months to save your cat's teeth. Hip dysplasia. This is rare in domestic cats and is common in purebred cats. This occurs when the hip joint is loose and leads to degenerative joint disease. Symptoms include lameness that can be mild to severe. Cats generally need no surgery for hip dysplasia. Weight reduction can help reduce discomfort. Ringworm. This is an infection of the skin, hair, or claws, and is caused by a fungus called dermatophyte. This occurs in 98% of cats. It spreads easily from cats to people. Symptoms include circular, bald patches that scale and have broken hairs in a ring-like fashion. Consult with your veterinarian for advice. 8. Dragon Lee's Nutritional Needs The Dragon Lee cat breed will need a high-quality diet. That said, a high-quality diet that is appropriate for the specific life stage of the cat is necessary. Protein as an ingredient needs to come first. Dry cat food is a popular choice because it promotes healthier gums and teeth. Wet food is more often recommended by veterinarians because it provides more moisture to cats. Cats don't drink a lot of water and tend to sometimes get dehydrated. Wet cat food also has its benefits. By choosing a well-known name brand cat food that has scientific backing, as well as quality control, cat parents can be assured that they are providing a well-balanced diet. 9. Dragon Lee Special Needs Dragon Lee kittens should be vaccinated according to a vaccination schedule. This will begin at 2 months of age. Intestinal parasites are also common in kittens, since the Dragon Lee mother cat may pass down larvae through the placenta or milk. Your veterinarian will treat your kitten with a broad-spectrum wormer. You will also need to consult with your veterinarian as to the safest antiparasitic products for your cat. You may also be faced with several health problems after adoption. These could be linked to behavioral problems. Consult with your veterinarian for a behavioral history of your senior cat if working through issues. Understanding why your cat is having problems is important, so that your veterinarian can treat them. Your Dragon Lee cat will need to socialize. If getting a kitten, socialization should commence during kittenhood. Your kitten should be handled before reaching 10 weeks of age. Cats that have not had the proper amount of socialization may avoid human contact. When introducing your new Dragon Lee cat to other pets in the home, it should be done gradually and over the course of a few days. They should be able to smell each other through safety gates and then held while getting introduced. Allow pets together for short periods of time if they are calm and gradually increase the amount of time that the pets spend together. Within multi-pet households, patience and calmness is important. If you enjoyed this video, kindly press the like button. Also don't forget to subscribe with notifications on, so that you don't miss out on videos like this. Thank you for watching.